Hey guys, what's up? I'm on Arts here, and today I'm showing you how to customize text in Cinema 4D. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean pretty much the same thing you would do in Adobe Illustrator, except you don't have quite many, quite as many options. But this way, you don't have to um, import it from Adobe Illustrator to Cinema 4D, and that uh, takes a little bit of time. So you can do pretty much the same thing. So let's start off with some text. So go to MoGraph, text object, and I am going to make this text say typography, but you can make it say whatever you want. For the font, I'm going to use Helvetica uh, Bold Oblique, and I'm going to align that to the middle so it's centered. Now you can just do a little bit of a customizing the text to get it how you like and once you're done with that we're gonna start actually changing the points to get a cool typographic look kind of so press C on your keyboard and that makes the text editable and now you're going you're going to um, open up the text so you're gonna pl press this plus sign and press it again and again until you get all the letters which are separated. And what these letters are are individual splines um, that are in extra NURBS which make them 3D. So the way you're gonna edit them is you're gonna change the points on the spline and move them around. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So let's start with the first letter T. So it might be different for your text, it probably will be. But with the first letter, I'm just going to press the plus sign so you get the spline. And then you can see the spline is within the extra NURBS. And you're going to uncheck the extra NURBS so you just see the spline. After that, oh, you guys are probably naturally on this mode right here. It looks like a two black arrows and then a triangle. But you're going to want to change that to this one right here which looks like a grid with, with three points on the left, orange points. So you're just going to click on that, and now you can start selecting points and moving them. And you can obviously select two points at a time by holding shift, so I'm going to do these two right here. I'm going to click on this first one right here, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on that one right there. And now you can see if you just drag them to whatever direction you want, you can just customize the text really easily. And this technique is going to be a lot better for a still image than animating because it's harder to animate something if it's editable. For example, you can't use um, like random effectors and stuff like that, at least I don't think. But now I'm going to go back to this extra nerves of this letter and I'm just going to check it to see what it actually looks like. And you can see it's pretty cool. You know, it's really easy to do. Something you might do in Adobe Illustrator, but you can just do it right here, Cinema 40, so you don't have to deal with all the importing and exporting. Let's try another uh, let's try another letter. I'm going to use the Y. So I'm gonna open it up by clicking the plus sign, and I'm gonna click on the spline, and I'm gonna uncheck the extra NURBS so you just see the spline. And I'll make sure it's selected, and you should again see all these points that you can play around with. I'm going to use these two points at the edge of the letter, at the end of the Y kind of, and I'm going to select both of them. And now I'm just going to simply drag them to the left so they connect with the P in typography. And you guys might want to choose the same letters that I'm using just so you can follow along and just practice um, but now I am just going to check off the Y so I can actually see what it looks like 3D and close that folder and you can see it looks pretty cool already I am just going to do one more example because I don't want to take too long this is just a quick tip and then you guys can apply this technique in whatever you want so let's just make the top of this P connect with this T. So again you're just gonna click the plus sign on the letter you want to edit so you get the spline 
And now you can uncheck the extra nerves of that same letter. So you just see the spline. And again, you can customize all these points. If you zoom in a little bit, I'm going to customize these two right here. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to hold shift and click on that one. And I'm just going to, oops, drag it up like that so it connects to the T. Let's just check it off and close the folder. And now we can see how easy it is to customize text in Cinema 4D. Something you might do in Illustrator, but you get pretty good results with this and you don't have to switch between different programs. So I'd say it's a pretty useful tip. I'd appreciate if you guys would like the video and also comment telling me what other tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, guys.